On this episode, I'm going to be showing you the difference between using a wax toilet flange seal. This one you can just easily peel off and attach underneath your toilet versus this Fluid Master rubber seal. So stay tuned. So once again, friends, thank you so much for tuning in. Please give me that early like, subscribe, and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews on this channel. What I have here is the Johnny Ring Wax Toilet flange seal it's just hardened wax encapsulated onto this plastic cover all you have to do is peel it off now we're going to be comparing it to the fluid master rubber flange seal this comes with hardware gaskets and also bolts and washers so let's open it up and see what's inside now it does come with two pieces it comes with this extra flange riser and it comes with the rubber seal itself with the little foam padding underneath it it also comes with extra hardware that attaches to your flange first thing that you need to do is turn off the water supply now take a bucket or a basin and place it underneath where the water supply connects to the toilet tank now it's going to be a little difficult to take to loosen that up with your hand so what i use is these channel lock pliers it helps out a lot and just very be very careful because you don't want to damage this fitting so now that you got that disconnected, there will be water that might come out of the water supply hose. Now the tank is still filled with water. All you need to do is flush all that extra water out. There will be a little bit of water left. You can either use a turkey baster, a sponge, or just an extra cloth to soak up all the water and drain that out. But we'll need to take this uh, tank and disconnect it from the bowl. What I'm using here is a 13 millimeter deep socket with a half inch ratchet. I'll leave all that tools on the description down below. Everything that I used and tools on this video, I'll leave it on the description down below. Now locate that bolt on the bottom of your toilet bowl and just loosen that up. And you're going to be doing the same thing on the other side. Now this is what connects your toilet tank and toilet bowl together. Once you got that disconnected, once you press onto that bolt, water, the remaining water should come out if you haven't drained it out yet. you can see these uh, t toilet tank bolts are very rusted on the top it, it does have some sediments build up on top I made a separate video on how to replace these so check out that link on the top right corner and I'll show you how to replace these because these are very common to wear out and also create leaks now take out the toilet tank place it on a safe area where it won't get damaged then take out the toilet cap covers now i'm going to be using this 12 millimeter deep socket and i'm going to be taking out the toilet bowl itself that's connected to the toilet flange now i'm scraping off the old wax from the toilet bowl as you can see this is a very messy process so i advise you wear some gloves and take an extra rag to wipe off all the excess wax the first one that we're going to try out is this Johnny Ring Wax Ring. Now the only thing that you need to do is peel off the surrounding plastic protecting the wax inside. Just peel this off like an orange. And then just pop off the cover. Just like that and it should be ready for install. And all you have to do is place it underneath the toilet bowl right there on the ring. Press a little firmly on it so that it sticks to the bottom. and then just align it with your toilet flange. Make sure the two bolts go through those holes nice and perfect. What you're gonna do is form it onto the floor. Um, press firmly against it so that it compresses to your floor and it evens out. Now that's done, just place your hardware onto it and tighten this nut firmly. So we're gonna be taking this off so that we can compare it with the rubber uh, flange seal. Now as you can see that the wax is compressed and that it is a very messy process to clean up. Um, you will need a scraper to do this. And yeah, it just takes, it's a very, very messy thing to use because it gets, it gets wax everywhere. You'll need a scraper. Then you'll need to clean it up real well with your uh, rag. So this is a brand new one I'm just taking off because I'm using this for instructional purposes only. It does leave some wax around the outlet right there 
and it does also leave some wax on the toilet flange itself so you'll need to clean that off and also the toilet flange bolts that stick out will need to be cleaned out so use your rag to clean that out as well make sure it's nice and cleaned now we're going to be installing the fluid master better than wax now let's see how easy we can install this it does come with extra hardware these nuts and bolts now i'm going to be using my 12 millimeter deep socket and half inch ratchet since it's already came with this hardware i might as well replace it with the new one very easy to use just um, slide these right inside where the toilet flange is use this spacer to hold it in place now do the same thing on the other side now what you need to do is you're going to determine whether your toilet flange sits flush with your floor or a quarter inch deep on the floor or more now if since mine sits above the floor i won't need this toilet gasket riser i'm just going to be putting the rubber seal on but if your toilet flange sits a quarter inch deep then you will need this um, riser but if it sits more than half uh, half an inch deep you're going to be doubling it up luckily i have this extra seal um, you will need to buy an extra seal like this if it only if it sits half inch greater um, deep on the floor so you're going to be stacking it up with your gasket riser so all three will need to go now this is only applicable if it sits half inch lower on the floor but since mine sits a quarter inch up over the main floor i'm just going to be using this rubber seal and no gasket now i'm going to be placing back the toilet bowl align it just like how i did when i installed the wax put the washer and then tighten it with the nut now use your ratchet and make sure that you don't over tighten this just hand tighten it and now we're ready to put back the toilet tank now you can buy new ones of this i'll leave uh, the description below where you can buy new ones of these but i'm just going to be reusing my old uh, toilet tank bolts and then i'm going to be tightening it with my ratchet i'm reconnecting the supply line onto the toilet tank using my channel lock pliers again you don't want to over tighten this and then just turn back the water supply and this should fill up the tank and now test it out uh, make sure you look around the the area look around the perimeter of the bowl make sure that there's no water leaking or anything like that give it a few flushes so that you can test it out because once this flushes that should drain out of through through the flange onto the sewer line and make sure that you double check everything that it's not leaking also there's no leaks on where the water supply connects to the toilet tank there's no leaks onto the toilet bolts but let's go over the pros and the cons of the wax toilet flange seal the pro is it's cheap it's only three to four dollars it's easy to install the cons are it's messy it only lasts for a few years the prep time it takes a while for you to clean it up and there could be a possible leak depending on how deep your toilet flange is and if it will reach or not now let's go over the pros and the cons of the rubber toilet flange seal now the pros outweigh the cons these last almost forever there's extra hardware very easy to install and there's no mess the only problem is that it does cost a little bit more than the wax it costs 10 to 12 dollars and you might need multiple one of these depending on how deep your toilet flange is located now friends if you found this video helpful please give me a like subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on diys how-to videos and product reviews on this channel thank you so much i'll see you on the next episode